Good day, ladies and gents. Just a, a bit of a slideshow of what I'm doing with the Escort at the moment. Um, it does have one bent sill from being jacked up in the wrong spot. So while I'm replacing that, I thought, bugger it, I'll replace the lot. I'll do both inner and outer sills, both sides, um, the floor joints, the floors, the ends of the sills, the whole lot. Get it all done. So the last thing on this list is the rotisserie, which will be coming soon, hopefully. The rear-wheel drive conversion is done, so I can put it into the Escort now. Not a cheap thing, that is. Um, but, you know, so be it. Uh, there was a fair bit of stuff that I've had to, to muck around with to get it all the way that I wanted. Um, the T5 out of the, the Ford Falcon, that's ready to go now. Um, diff and front hubs are both five stud. That way I can run Ford Falcon rims because I've got the centre lines that are sitting in the photos. Uh, they will be going on to the Escort. Um... Now, with the induction side of things, I can go with the standard EFI. I can go with a standard Escort manifold uh, and a, a Weber carby. Or I can go motorcycle carbies. I've got all the manifolds, all the different carbies, everything's here. Um, I've also had to get the computers for them a non-EFI and an EFI computer and wiring looms so they're all here now um, the R1 carbies they've been drilled out to 1.8 mil turn the mixture screws all the way in back them out three full turns and make sure that your slide pins are in the center position and that's all you've got to do to matter uh, the R1 carbies to fit. Um, other than that, it's just a case of now starting to put it all together as soon as I finish the body. So all the parts are sitting there ready. Uh, tomorrow I will probably fit the R1 carbies onto the motor just because they'll be what I'll be starting it with. And um, we'll go from there, I suppose. Um, so hopefully it won't be long and I'll be able to start fitting everything after years of collecting bits. Alrighty, ladies and gents, have a good one, and I shall catch you later. See ya.